This is a quick little video about the casting of lead slugs for the air cannons. I've got four molds set up here that have been made from scrap aluminum using my lathe and milling machine, caliber 410, 565, 812, and 25 millimeter. Four molds for the four barrels that I use on my air cannons. A cheap little two burner stove from Walmart will easily melt the kind of metal that can be made into slugs, namely old car wheel weights, bits of zinc die castings, fishing sinkers, uh, old lead solder that isn't the modern silver based solder that you have to use for plumbing these days. All of these things can be melted down on the cheap little Walmart two-burner stove to make slugs. The cups I'm using to melt the metal in are simply little measures made from stainless steel that I found one day at the dollar store. They work perfectly. At this point, the metal's just beginning to melt in the cup. Probably take another five minutes or so for it to melt, so I'll pick up the video again when it's melted and we're ready to cast some slugs. While we wait for the metal to melt, here's a quick look at one of the molds. We'll grab the 812 here, for example. It's a split mold. As you can see, the two halves go together, and then it just slips down into the collar, which holds it in perfect alignment, ready to receive the molten lead when it's ready. Our metal's melted. It's nice and liquid now, so we're, uh, we're ready to uh, cast here. Well, the liquid lead is ready, so let's grab the cup with pliers. We have our metal. Let's start with the big one. Oh, messy, but that doesn't matter. And now the 812 mold. The 565 mold and the 410. There we go. We'll let them cool for a minute or two and then I'll pop the molds apart revealing the brand new slugs. Okay, the molds have cooled, so open the end and work the slug out. Press it out with my finger, and there it is. Let's get the 812 slug out. Its mold is split. There's the slug, the 565 mold. And slug and the 410 and it's slug. Well I've still got metal left I'll put the molds back together and I'll make four more. Okay the molds are back together Metal's nice and liquid. May not have enough for everything this time. Whoa, too much. I'll have to peel that off the end. Yeah, there's not enough to do the 812, so we won't. 
I'll let them cool for a minute or two, and then I'll open them. Okay, it's cooled a little bit, so let's open it, starting with the 25 millimeter. This time it came out a little more easily. There's the second 25 millimeter slug. We didn't have enough lead to make an 812. So we'll open the 565 mold. And there we go. And the 410, which I poured a little too much lead into, but that can be cut off. The excess, the, the slug, will be fine. There it is. I just need to cut the excess off in my uh, hacksaw. So there we go. That's how lead slugs get made for the air cannon. Well, here's a final shot of the results of slug making. These are now ready to be fired. Well, here's my shooting box of lead slugs that I've cast in caliber 410, 565, 812, and 25 millimeter. These work quite well.